Oh, no! All the chickens got loose in the clubhouse. Oh, I need to catch them. Shoo. Shoo, goo goo. Whew. Those chickens were so fast. That was hard. Oh, hi, boys and girls. Is it time for children's church? It is. Okay. All right. Do you remember the adventure we went on last week? We went to the Garden of Eden when God made the whole world and he made all the animals. I love learning about animals. And do you remember a new memory verse? It says, God saw everything he had made and it was very good. Genesis 1 verse 31. Let's do our new memory verse together now. God saw everything he had made and it was very good. That's in Genesis 1 verse 31. Do you remember last month when teacher Pumzile taught us about manna, the bread that God sent from heaven to the Israelites? And we learned to say thank you for whatever food we have. Today, we're going to go visit the Israelites in the desert and see how they're doing. Do you want to go on an adventure with me? Come join me. Awesome Benny, let's go. Did you know that a desert is a land that gets almost no rain ever? And it's very hot. There is no mud or grass. It's all sand. And there's no water to drink. You have to find water out of plants. And there's not very many animals. Most of the animals that live there sleep during the day because it's so hot and they're awake at night. Hmm. I really don't know where I'm going. There's no roads out here. I hope we see someone soon. I see some people ahead. I'm gonna go talk to them. Maybe it's the Israelites we were looking for. I'll be right back. Oh wow, it was them. They just told me even more of the story of God giving them food. Are you ready for today's Bible story? Let's do it. The Israelites were complaining that they didn't have any meat to eat. Uh-oh, sounds like they were forgetting to thank God for the bread that he gave them. So, God told them he would give them so much meat for a whole month. What kind of meat do you think God gave them? Hmm, chicken? Pork? Sausage? Maybe hamburgers? Nope, he gave them quail. Wait, what is quail? Hmm, well, they said it comes every evening. Let's set up camp here so we can see it tonight. Whoa. What a miracle! This is quail. It's like a tiny chicken or a big bird. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Did you know, even though they are birds, they can't fly very well. Usually they just run. Wow, look how much there is. In the Bible, it says there was so much, it covered as much ground as they could walk in a whole day. That's like from Baban to Manzini. Wow, that's so far. And it was about a meter deep. That would be about this deep on me. That's a lot of quail. So back to our story. 
every night. God sent the Israelites quail so they would have meat to eat. They asked God for meat, and he answered them. God used quail to answer their prayer and feed them. They're sharing with me. Mmm, tastes like chicken. I need to pray and thank God for this. Let's fold our hands and close our eyes. Dear God, thank you for answering our prayers. And thank you for listening to us every time we talk to you. You are a great friend. Thank you for giving us everything we need. In Jesus' name, amen. I sure am thankful for this meat. Thank you, God. Do you remember that most animals that live in the desert are awake at night? I'm going to go look for some with my flashlight. I'll see you next week.